What's going on folks, TCG back at it again with another video. Amanda and I are out here doing some ice fishing and we're going after pike and walleye. Fish? Yeah. What do we got? Mm, okay, take hard. it slow, take it slow. It's a big pike. Giant walleye. And the local beauty. Ryan Ward. Let's get Amanda her first ice fish. Right down to the yak. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> at that. <laughs> What's going on folks, TCG back at it again with another video. Amanda and I are out here doing some ice fishing and we're going after pike and walleye. Amanda's already jigging, she's got her Garmin Striker 4 and she's using like a little jigging spoon with minnow head on it. And then I already set up one of the tip ups and that's just got like a, I don't know, five to six inch sucker minnow on it. So hopefully that's gonna pay out, but I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff set up, drill a couple more holes and start jigging. Hopefully we get some fish. It's a beautiful day out here. It's starting to warm up in our area. So hopefully that doesn't affect the ice too much, but it's like plus one degrees right now. We're getting some snow. So it could mean for a good walleye bite later this evening. It's about noon. So it's probably not gonna turn on for a little while. Although Amanda has already marked a fish, the walleye bite, the steady walleye bite might not turn on for a little bit. So we're just gonna do some jigging, see what happens. Hopefully get some pike throughout the afternoon and then towards the evening, the walleye bite will turn on. But let's get to it and hopefully we get some fish. Fish? Yeah. What do we got? Mm, okay, take hard. it slow, take it slow. It's a big pike. Nice pike, Amanda. Oh no, yeah. Right. Yeah and just keep your rod bent. Oh, that's a nice pike, Amanda. How's it feel? Oh, I'm so excited. That is awesome. I'll try my best to land this for you. You wanna put this in a wallet there? Nope. Yeah, I just keep No, it's a pike, I saw him. I wanna get the tripod out, but I don't, I wanna make sure I get this fish for Can you. Can you two-hand it? No, I'll just, okay, okay. When he runs that way, put tilt your rod, so, cause you don't want it scraping on the ice that much. Okay. Oh, oh, that's an awesome fish. Look how fat he is. Look, this one got bit too. Last year, my big fish got Would bit. Would you look at that? <gasps> this feels so good. <laughs> he came earlier and he came back. That is so awesome. Give the pliers. Look at that. That's Amanda's first fish of the day. We've probably only been fishing for 15, 20 minutes. I haven't even put a line in yet. Uh, so this is amazing way to start. Let's get this fish in the water and catch some more. So a tip I could give you, if you're jigging for walleyes, fishing for pike, whatever it is, you're allowed two lines here in Ontario, so you should definitely take advantage of that. If you have the time, set up your second line and have the most opportunity. So I have a jigging rod here, Amanda's over there jigging. And then back behind her is a tip up, and right behind me is a dead stick. And that's giving us the most, the best odds at catching the fish in this area. Amanda's already caught a pike, so the pike are around and they're feeding. So the more lines in the water with more uh, food opportunities, the better. All right, so the bite has been a little slow. It started off pretty good. Amanda got that first pike right as soon as we got here. But uh, other than that, we've marked a couple big fish, but nothing's taken since then. I just figured I'd uh, sit down and explain to you what we're doing. So we got a tip up out and that has tip up line on it with a fluorocarbon leader, has some beads, has some uh, blades on it for attractant and then a split shot to get the minnow down and the minnow is a sucker minnow. And then I'm jigging this new bait. It's a, uh, it's called the Rapala blade and it's like a rattle bait, but it's got this weird design. It's a new design they made. Just came out this year and it's got some pretty cool action. It looks pretty cool when I'm jigging it in the hole. So it's probably, it's 
probably gonna get bit, but I'm gonna just keep using it till it does. And then Amanda's jigging a glow spoon and she's got it tipped with minnow. And behind me, we got a shiner on a uh, frostbite tungsten jig and that's on a dead stick. And that's just sitting right on bottom, swimming around, waiting for something to come and bite it. So we're covering some water, trying different tactics and hopefully it pays off. This spot generally, you only get a couple fish in the afternoon and then towards evening, towards dark, we're gonna start seeing the walleyes getting active and that's when tonight should really get fun. So let's see what happens, but uh, I'm still hopeful that we'll get at least one more pike. So hopefully that happens. Look at this bait. Look at this. Yeah, by Rapala. Isn't it weird? No, no, it's not super weird. It looks good. How deep are you? Uh, this one's like seven and a half feet. Uh, Amanda's ten feet-ish. Eight, almost nine. She's yeah, but that goes down a foot. So she's like she's like nine to ten feet. And then this one's here is twelve. Well, just under. Are you serious? What do you got? Oh, oh it broke you off, Doyle. It broke you off. Dude, I had all these suspended marks drop down and it hit me right away. Clean break. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any other bait. Oh my God, Doyle. What the freak? That was a clean break, Dude, eh? Musky or pike. Yeah. A walleye ain't just gonna cruise through and smash it. That was fast. And it pulled drag the whole time too. Holy. This, it pulled drag. My drag's tight. <laughs> My drag is hella tight. <laughs> Doyle! There ain't no way I'm landing on my That was crazy. Oh. Oh. Can you get the thing out? Oh god. Oh, oh my god. She it bit you. I am. I wonder what it is. Oh. It's a musky. Or suspended. it's a nice pike. Or it's the biggest walleye you've ever seen. Or a nice pike. Should I make it looser? Uh, no, no, it's okay. You're good. Just when it runs, just let it. I saw it. I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it, Dora? Uh -huh. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, oh! I didn't see it. Off. Oh no! Oh! Put it back out. Put it back out. It might. It might still be there. That didn't go down, didn't that? that. Did, not, I can't. did not look like a, a musky, dude. No, like it a didn't. Pike. It looked like a pike. I didn't even see it. Oh, it's peeling. It's peeling. It's peeling pretty good. I'll be on down duty. It's sideways. Oh, dude, it's way... Should I pull it? Is it tight? Pull it so it's tight. Pumba. Pumba. Back up. You're gonna f*** it up. I feel it. I feel it. Should I try it? Go for it. Don't rip it. Did you miss it? No, I got it. Something's on. Oh, he got off right there, but I felt him. Oh. I felt him. Oh. Got a mark. <gasps> Come on. What do you want? It's a glow spoon with a mail. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. He's all over it. Do like one aggressive jig and then leave it there and see what, what happens. Like a big one. That was pretty big. No, I mean like a two footer. Oh, he liked that. 
<laughs> he likes those aggressive ones. You yeah. see that? Do it again and then just like raise it slowly. Oh. Like, don't come down like a spar. Yeah. Got him. Nice. That was sick. Not very big, but I'll take that. That was cool. Woo! That was so cool watching him react like that, Doyle. Wow. Hey, he got the minnow head. I'm going to try to get that from him. There we go. And check that out. Awesome, awesome walleye. First fish of the night. There it is, my first fish of the day. Not very big, but I'll take it. And uh, let's get him back in the water. If the bite turns on, I may uh, have to stay, you know? That was a good minnow head on there too. Oh, another mark. Got him. Instantly, bro. As soon as I got down. <laughs> Oh, wow, instantly, not a big fish, but still a cool fish. Like bro, I dropped, I, I dropped down and he clobbered it instantly. There we go, another freaking walleye. Let's get him back. Dude, I may have a school here, honest to God. See what happens when I drop down again. Oh, oh, I'm marking. Taking my fish. You can have this hole. I want the one that the fish He's all over me, Doyle. I'm doing that. And he seems to like it. I'm doing that right now. Like an aggressive jig where you go up two feet but only come down like a foot and a half. And I bet you he'd shoot up at him. Got him. That was such a light bite. Oh, he feels, oh, he got off. That was such a light bite, man. That was such a light bite. Oh. Maybe I need minnows. And not gold. Oh, dude, it was my my thumb ah. me up there. Can I take a, do you have any minnows left there? Yeah, tons of minnows, man. Oh, as if I lost that fish, dude. That felt decent. That felt better than all of them. Yeah, the big ones barely bited, eh? Damn it, man. That my thumb ah. me up. That hurt. Oh. Oh. Dang, man. Maybe my drag's too tight, too. Oh, I'm marking again. Thank I'm marking you. again. Might be that fish again. Oh, my damn thumb, dude. Oh, my thumb, man. Another small walleye, but I will take it. This is fun. Oh, there we go. It looks like I'm still marking, so. No. Fish, fish the one right here though. Right behind me. Alrighty folks, well, that's gonna be the end of the video most likely. I'm gonna jig for a few more minutes, but I'm basically packing it in. It was a pretty awesome day out here. Doyle ended up joining us and we got on some fish. Amanda caught a pike first thing when we got here, which was pretty sweet. It was a decent fish. And then she even hooked a, a pretty big fish. We never really got a good look at it. 
and it got off right at the hole. So that could have been a, uh, a muskie or a big walleye. Uh, we're kind of leaning towards it being a big walleye just by what we saw, but it was really hard to say. And then I ended up catching three walleyes uh, right at the end of the night. So overall, pretty stellar day on the ice. I had a lot of fun. I know everyone here had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.